Welcome back to another video. We are finally into the month of December and I hope you're making sales this Q4. I haven't uploaded in a while as I've been super busy, but I thought it would be interesting to look back at my first month on KDP and provide some tips about what changed my income as I'm now earning much, much more. So check out this video. So to get straight into it, I started self-publishing in June 2020, uh, mostly creating no content books, earning $29.27 in gross. But as you can see to the right hand side, the net amount was $17.24 uh, as I was running ads and I have linked this video on my ad strategy if you want to know more about ads. So I was happy with this amount. It kind of gave me the proof of concept that you can definitely sell books on Amazon and make an income. I also did buy two of my own books as well, just to get a quality assurance of the product and and to also understand the process from a customer perspective as well, which I was pleased with. As we know, Amazon's shipping times are very, very fast. So that might be something that you want to do just to get a feel of your book. But to start off with, I was mostly creating notebooks and journal as these are pretty simple to start off with and allows you to kind of get used to the keyword, get used to creating covers and the whole process. And you can kind of build up the foundations from there. So I just wanted to show you some of my books that I did start off with and looking back, the cover designs are okay, but I really didn't understand the power of keywords, but I think it's good to show you a lot that you don't have to have it all figured out. But the most important thing is to get started and then keep trying to step forward each week and keep trying to make the little steps to get better. And then in a few months time, you'll be surprised at the quality of books that you are creating. So just looking through some of these books, I haven't really been descriptive and there's no real target audience in mind. Just in general, my thinking behind quite a few of these books here was that literally that it's summer, people are going to want bright, vibrant kind of notebooks. And that's literally what I went with. There wasn't no real kind of keyword research behind it, but it was just a thought I had and I just went along with it. And this is probably one of the worst things you can do as a beginner. You really need to take time to study the market, study what books people are actually searching for that is low demand and then create books around that instead. So you can even see at the bottom that I did try a few log books also. Just going to go to the second page. Maybe my titles and keywords are a little bit better here. I've tried to at least have a target audience in mind of young book lovers, but the subtitles are still quite a bit messy. But I think it shows to not just stay comfortable doing notebooks and journals, try to step forward at least, maybe create log books, kind of depending on your ability. Maybe if you just want to do the first month with notebooks and journal, that's fine. But I would say always try to move forward to more challenging books as notebooks and journals they are quite saturated and i don't really make a lot of these types of books anymore so if you have a look at the bottom of the screen you can see my total ad spend for my first month was twelve dollars and four cents so i basically ran some automatic ads on a few of these books and I was just super conservative with them. If it went up to $1 and I had not made a sale, then I would cut off the ads. But there were some books that I was also a little bit nervous about when maybe I did earn a sale of continue to keep it running as I wasn't really that experienced in ads. 
So to work out my A cost, which is just the advertising cost of sales, what we need to do is divide the spending. So $12.04 by the sales or gross royalty, which is $29.27 and just times that 100, which gives me an A cost of 41.13% which is really high and shows that these ads weren't really profitable that month. But if you take the time to really learn about ads and develop your strategy, then ads can really boost your sales and really increase your KDP income. So with my KDP income reports moving forward, I wanted to try and provide more value with these rather than just basically telling you how much I made. So for this, I want to answer the question of what changed my KDP income. So now on a monthly basis, I am grossing £1,000 and more. And probably the biggest thing that contributed towards this was that I began to focus on books that I was passionate about and I had a knowledge in. And combining this with niches that were high demand and low competition. And the reasons why this changed my income so drastically was because I was able to use my knowledge on topics that I have a deep understanding of. And, and because of this deeper understanding, you're able to find specific keywords that your audience would be looking for. Also, I was able to create much better books as I knew what my target audience was looking for and actually cared about the quality of the book rather than just throwing out you know a bunch of notebooks and journal not really caring but just wanting to make sales and because I was creating books I actually cared about and I wanted to go the extra mile I ended up enjoying the process more and a result of this was that over time I was able to create a lot more unique books around the niches I was passionate about I developed my title, subtitles, keywords, my cover design got much better and I was able to improve on my ad strategy also. So I hope this video was helpful for you today. It's kind of more aimed at those who are beginners, but I've got loads more videos on my channel that can help you out wherever you are in your KDP journey. So thanks for watching. I'm going to try and do at least two more videos this month, specifically on keywords and my KDP November income report. So if you have any video ideas you want me to do, then put that in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care.